I've been mega dosing glycine for the last two years. On most days, I take around 10 grams of glycine. I'm going to explain the reasons why I do it and what are the recommended amounts in this video. It's showtime. My main goal with taking glycine is longevity. I think glycine is one of the few supplements that actually has proven evidence that it does work in humans for longevity. The three main reasons I personally take large amounts of glycine are number one, glycine is essential for collagen turnover, which helps to slow down skin aging and preserve your tendon health. Number two, glycine is the rate limiting step for glutathione synthesis, which is a powerful antioxidant in the body that's essential for slowing down aging. And number three, glycine balances methionine and mimics methionine restriction, which has been shown to slow down aging and extend lifespan in animals. So why do I mega dose glycine to cover those demands? Glycine is considered a non-essential amino acid because the body can make around three grams of it per day. However, as you'll find out shortly, that's not nearly enough of what you need optimally. The reason why we don't make optimal amounts of glycine is because glycine synthesis isn't regulated by its demand. I'm not going to go into all the details of the biochemistry of glycine synthesis etc. If you want to learn all about the science and the mechanisms of glycine synthesis then check out my book with Dr. James De Nicola Antonio called The Collagen Cure. But let's start talking about the three reasons I take large amounts of glycine. Starting with collagen. We've all heard about the benefits of collagen for skin health and joint health. There are many human trials showing that collagen peptides improve skin health and reverse signs of skin aging. Now it is true that I'm only 29 years old and I don't have any wrinkles or joint pain. So you might ask why would I be concerned about collagen at such a young age? The reason is that your skin collagen content starts decreasing in your 20s already at a rate of about 10% per decade. By the age of 70 you could have lost up to 50% of your skin collagen content. Starting to take collagen in your 40s when you get the first permanent wrinkle is already too late. You need to be maintaining your skin collagen in your 20s already and do it for the rest of your life. Glycine makes up every third amino acid in collagen, which is why there is such a large requirement of glycine for optimal collagen turnover. Up until now, many people thought that collagen turnover was very slow and it takes years to take effect. But we now know that collagen turnover happens every day. For optimal collagen turnover, it's been found that you need at least 12 grams of glycine per day. Remember, your body does make three grams of glycine every day. Most people on average diets are estimated to consume only around two to three grams of glycine per day, which would still leave a six gram deficit for collagen turnover. However, your body needs three additional grams of glycine for other vital processes inside the body, such as glutathione synthesis, heme synthesis, creatine synthesis, and bile salt synthesis. That increases the minimum glycine demand to 15 grams per day to cover the optimal collagen turnover of 12 grams and three grams of glutathione synthesis. However, this is based on the estimate that glycine's recycling rate during collagen turnover is 95%. However, it could also be that glycine's recycling rate is similar to cysteine, which is 85%. In that case, you would need three times more glycine, not 12 grams, but 36 grams of glycine to cover optimal collagen turnover. I personally believe that it's more towards like the 12 grams, so it's not as high as 36 grams, but it's at least 12 grams for sure. And being in a 10 gram of glycine deficit every day isn't gonna kill you immediately. It's, it's something that is going to take years and decades for you to actually see the first symptoms of some of the highest glycine foods are pork skin, pork rinds, gelatin powder, chicken skin, chicken drumsticks, bone broth, and even some plant foods like soybeans. If you're eating a very high glycine diet, then you might be getting 5 to 10 grams of glycine from your diet. Also, research has found that bone broth is unlikely to provide reliable amounts of collagen precursors to meet collagen requirements. So it's very hard to get all of the glycine you need of 10 to 12 grams a day from just dietary sources. So here's what I do to get at least 12 grams of glycine into my day. I take a collagen peptide supplement because it's been proven in dozens of human clinical trials to improve hallmarks of skin aging and skin health. If you take 10 grams of collagen peptides, which is the optimal dose, then you're going to get 3 grams of glycine from that. The brand of collagen I'm using, Nordcode, actually has an extra 5 grams of added glycine. So I'm getting 8 grams of glycine per scoop of their complete collagen. You can get the Nordcode complete collagen from nordcode.com, that's with two O's, and use the code SEAM10 for a 10% discount. 
count. I also eat glycine-rich foods, fish with the skin, chicken skin, gelatin, etc. Per 30 grams of gelatin powder, you can get around 5 grams of glycine. I might take 5 to 6 grams of glycine as a powder and I add it to my tea or yogurt because it tastes sweet. Glycine helps to lower blood sugar, which is great for taking after meals. And glycine also helps with sleep quality by lowering body temperature and increasing the inhibitory neurotransmitter GABA. In total, I'll be getting around 15 to 18 grams of glycine per day in combination with the collagen supplement. That gives me 8 grams of glycine alone. I think everyone pretty much should take a collagen supplement for the rest of their life because it helps with skin aging, it helps with joint health, and your collagen starts to decrease already in your 20s. The second reason I take glycine is because of glutathione synthesis. Remember, your body requires at least 3 grams of glycine for glutathione synthesis. Glutathione is called the body's master antioxidant because it governs a big proportion of the antioxidant defense system. Glutathione synthesis is rate limited by glycine, making glycine the bottleneck for glutathione synthesis. It's been found that glutathione deficiency in aging is primarily caused by a deficiency in cysteine and glycine, but not glutamine, which is why many studies have found that using glycine and NAC, collectively called as Glynac, specifically targets age-related glutathione deficiency. There are dozens of human clinical trials on Glynac showing that it improves hallmarks of aging and functional outcomes like muscle strength, gait speed, cognitive function, etc. I've made a separate video about this that you can check out. The caveat of these studies is that they're done on the elderly who are experiencing higher amounts of oxidative stress due to aging. That is the reason why I'm not convinced that I need to take large amounts of NAC. I'm still very young and my body makes adequate amounts of glutathione. I just need to provide the necessary precursors in the form of glycine. But I do take Glynac as well on some specific occasions, like when I am experiencing some more oxidative stress or if I need to boost my immune system. I just don't take it every day as a combination of large amounts of NAC. NAC. The doses of glycine and NAC in the studies of improvements in aging are 100 mg per kilogram per day for glycine and 98 mg per kilogram per day for NAC. But keep in mind that this is only for supporting glutathione synthesis. Your actual demand for glycine is significantly higher than that of NAC because you also need glycine for the collagen turnover and other aspects of health that you don't need for NAC. Lastly, I take glycine because of its benefits on methionine restriction and longevity. Methionine is an essential amino acid and it's the most abundant amino acid in our diet. You get it from muscle meat, eggs and fish predominantly. Methionine restriction increases lifespan and slows down aging in animal models. Excess methionine raises homocysteine which is associated with aging and cardiovascular disease. Glycine prevents the negative effects of methionine overload such as reducing elevated homocysteine and reducing excess S-adenosyl methionine which is implicated in elevated blood lipids, fatty liver and heart disease. Methionine restriction is very impractical and difficult because almost all foods have methionine unless you're a completely plant-based vegan. Fortunately it's been found that glycine supplementation can yield the same benefits of methionine restriction without restricting methionine. This means that excess methionine is harmful to longevity only if it's imbalanced with glycine. You just need to balance your methionine intake with glycine. Methionine depletes glycine and for every gram of methionine consumed, your demand for glycine increases by 0.5 to 1 grams. So if you're eating a diet that is very high in muscle meat, then your demand for glycine is actually significantly higher. So here's a recap of my glycine strategy for optimal health and longevity. I take a collagen peptide by Nordcode which provides me with a staggering 8 grams of glycine per scoop in addition to the 10 grams of collagen peptides. Secondly, I eat glycine-rich foods like tendons, ligaments, skins, etc. And I don't overeat methionine-rich muscle meat. Lastly, I take around 5 to 6 grams of actual glycine as a powder and mix it in my tea or the gelatin dessert. In total, I'm getting around 15 to 18 grams of glycine per day from all the sources. I'm not saying that this is what you need to do. This is the result of my research on glycine and longevity. And this is what I've come to the conclusion of, that I would need at least 12 to 15 grams of glycine per day for optimal health. Is going to greatly benefit my longevity in a few decades through the three main factors that I talked about, collagen turnover, glutathione synthesis, and the methionine restriction. If you want to learn more about this, then check out my book with Dr. James DeNicola Antonio called The Collagen Cure on Amazon. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.